the people born after 1994 and heavily influenced by the internet, their single focus is really on their life having purpose. And so this expands their ability to have options for purpose and it makes college, I think, more meaningful for them. Absolutely. How do you, how do you right. confront the obstacle, uh, often led by parental pressure, go to school in order to get out and make a lot of money? Well, we try to say that it's, it's a, a lot more than that. We, we try to train people to be uh, master learners, to be of service, to be focused on things. And so we try to urge parents every day to not focus so much on the individual degree or the individual job. That will all work itself out. The average kid going forward will have four careers and 12 jobs, 15 jobs in their life. So it's not about training for jobs. It's about preparation for the future. Is there a co-op aspect to it where you have on-the-job skill training while you you are in school? There's definitely in this uh, public service academy a component part about learning to be a leader by being a leader. Yes, there's hands-on work as well as academic work. You know, it's a remarkable student body. I've been out there and um, they've got more than, what, 3,000 Chinese students. Yes. A huge contingent of veterans who are coming back. This is not to separate the veterans from the idea that they can come back and get involved in the public service academy as well because after their service and military uniform, mm -hmm. and that's less than 1% of our population, Right. Mm -hmm. they come back and want to serve. And Absolutely. They, and, they, and, and this is an opening for them to get back involved on the non-military piece of it. Well, and Michael, you, you're doing an incredible job. Arizona State University ranked the number one most innovative school in the United States. Uh, congrats.